At Sticker Giant, we strive to make quality stickers exactly the way you want them. We touch every piece of artwork submitted, and we want to make it perfect before it goes to print. For those of you interested in setting up your artwork prior to setting it in, we'd love to share a few guidelines to help you prepare your graphic for an even faster turnaround of your proof. First off, let's talk about the anatomy of a Sticker Giant sticker design. There is a safe area which features all the essential information on a sticker. Text or logo should stay within this area. Then, there is a cut line which is the edge of your finished sticker. Our lasers cut along this path during production. The cut line is set up with an eighth inch out from the artwork. To properly set up a cut path, use a vector shape with a .5 stroke in 100% magenta. The cut path can have no sharp corners. From here, there is a bleed, which extends from the sticker out past the cut line, which creates a tolerance that ensures the background doesn't get cut off in production. The bleed extends an eighth of an inch out from the cut line. However, a bleed is not necessary. For clear stickers, these should be set up in layers. The artwork should be on one layer. A layer of white should back up any color areas. A third layer should indicate any clearer areas. We need a solid vector white backing with no transparency for this sticker type to print. Sticker sheets are great because you can put multiple stickers on one sheet and we don't charge for the additional die cuts. Lucky you. Follow these steps to set up a sticker sheet. Extend bleed an eighth of an inch out from any cut line. Two sides of the sheet must have half an inch margin between sheet cut line and sticker cut line. Two sides of the sheet must have eighth of an inch margin between sheet cut line and sticker cut line. Individual stickers must have an eighth of an inch inset between cut line and artwork. Individual stickers must have at least a sixteenth of an inch minimum margin apart. Round corners on all cut lines with a minimum radius of four one hundredths of an inch, or .04. This covers the basic guidelines of setting up artwork for printing custom stickers and labels. For more on this, check out our video, How to Outline Die-Cut Lines to Your Sticker Design in Adobe Illustrator. For all orders at Sticker Giant, we offer free artwork setup, but if you send in a perfect artwork ready to go, look out for our Sticker Giant Art Stamp seal of approval on your proof. It's an honor. Every sticker has a story. Tell your story with a sticker from Sticker Giant.